Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just got done with a 10.10 .10 mile run. Uh, it felt good. Uh, this is day number 36. Uh, on this particular run, uh, I was listening to uh, uh, Jay Shetty's On Purpose podcast, uh, an episode featuring uh, a young lady by the name of Laura Lynn Jackson. Um, she is a psychic medium. Uh, now as a Christian, um, I have a weirdness about psychics and mediums. Uh, I have seen psychics before. Um, and, uh, but it just came up on my feed and I was just filled with curiosity. Um, I'll say this. When I think of psychics, you know, it, it leads me to the story of uh, Joseph and how he could, God gave him this power to sort of see the future and things of the sort. And so that's sort of a psychic ability. So I decided to listen to this, uh, this, uh, this specific interview. Uh, now I'll tell you part of the reason is why, part of the reason why is because over the last few years, I've had these things, um, I call them God winks. And there are basically these moments of synchronicities where I will almost, no, I will know something that's about to happen and I don't know why I know. Um, and uh, I'll have these moments, uh, the day when my dad passed, uh, the reason why I, I ran my first marathon because it was on his birthday after he passed away, um, certain things that would happen. Like it's just all these things that were just happening and I didn't completely understand them. Um, and I always say they were God given, God will give me this image, the Holy Spirit will give me this image. But anyway, I'm listening to this, um, this podcast and it really relates to a lot of the things that I've been thinking and things that I've been processing and things that I'm going through. Um, you know, the synchronicities, uh, the moments of, of being still and being still not necessarily being about sitting down in a moment or meditating as much sometimes it's just for running for me and and realizing that our life is happening for the, the they're happening in the way they are for a reason they're happening for us as opposed to against us and these were a lot of the things that she was talking about and and tapping into this otherworldly part and saying she said we all have psychic ability in us the problem is we're not allowing ourselves to be open to it we're not allowing ourselves to surrender into the moments and i know just from listening to that and just listening to my journey, um, I know that's a lot of what happened. As, as I started tapping into these parts of myself that I was too afraid of because of fear, insecurities and things of the sort, the world was opening up to me in such an incredible level. You know, uh, I can't tell you I can see you right now and say, oh, I know this, 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 this will happen in your life. But I can tell you that I can feel your energy. I can feel where you are. I always say, I can see a person for who they are and not who they show me. Um, and it's all these things that were starting to happen in my life. And I also believe that we have such amazing powers in ourselves, like God bestows upon us. Um, you know how I always say, uh, we only use 10% of our brains, but I think that we have more access to it. But the way to get to it is different than the way people expect to. A lot of us want to control. Our ego wants us to control, to be powerful, to take everything. Um, but I think it's the opposite for us. It's to surrender. It's to be kind. It's to be at peace. It's to be at sti to be still within ourselves. And you start tapping into other layers of your, of your, of what you can do. And uh, I always say this: I am my own guinea pig. I can't ask anyone else to do these things if I don't do it in myself. And so I just have the moments, even the moments of fear. I have them, I feel them, but I still go against them and say, hey, yes, I know what this is, but I can do differently. And it's powerful. 